Losing a loved one to COVID-19 is heart-wrenching, and for most people, the aftermath is taking care of themselves thoroughly against the virus. However, for Peter, whose family was affected by COVID-19 and later losing his father to the virus, his mission became that of trying to eradicate the virus. Today, he fumigates houses, something he says will help curb the spread of the virus more effectively. Donned in his white personal protective gear, Peter prepares his whistle blower machine ready to disinfect the house. This fumigation exercise for him is more than what meets the eye. The fumigation started as a necessity um, because when dad fell ill in the three weeks at Kondani, and you know, we were like, he, once we confirmed it was COVID and my mom had COVID, my bro had and my bigger bro had COVID, and some of my friends and neighbors are like, hey, the sure, surest way, as much as we sanitize, as much as we keep social distancing, and as much as, um, you know, the government protocols, what else? So, social distancing, sanitizing, and what is the other one? Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> With the government protocols, this is what yeah. The surest way, because we have to he narrates the ordeal his parents faced battling COVID-19. So, um, my mom first fell ill. And, uh, you know, one week she's not improving. The second week she was now coming because she wasn't eating at first and her cancer could improve. And then um, on... <clears throat> um, now, the second week when she was improving... My dad, Akanza, so Akanza, uh, Akanza, Dad, what's up? And he told me, like, he was feeling very tired. And I knew, wow, it, it didn't take rocket science to figure it out because I had friends who had contracted the disease, now Kapona. So, Nikambia, Dad, Mom, it looks like a rat, smells like a, it is a rat. Yeah, Akanza, 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 KU. He was hospitalized for two days, um, isolation. Then, after two days, his condition deteriorated and left for work in the ICU here in KU referral. After three weeks of battling, Peter lost his dad and his fight now is to save lives through fumigation. Barely two months down the line, he has fumigated over 50 houses and almost a similar number of cars. To facilitate this, he charges a small fee to enable him to raise the raw materials as well as salaries for the youths he has since employed to help him with a job. Through the exercise, he has witnessed the stigma surrounding the virus. There's a lot of stigma around COVID-19. And you know you have to wear your full regalia. The PPEs, which funge, hey, I don't know if you're serious. I don't know if you're serious. So, and I understand that. So, but initially, I don't know if you're serious. Now you give them a deep mother and I'm at your case. I don't know, my eh, me, eh, Kwani, you know. But uh Nakujanga, Kwanza Nakongalesha, you do the process, the chemicals that are used, and you know, just to find out Kapio Kunam to e because there are several chemicals in here. After spraying her fake kuahapo for some time, for some few hours, kunenyata after twenty minutes kunenya. Saying Kazi ni Kazi, Peter challenges the youth to be innovative, to keep themselves afloat during the pandemic, all while keeping safe amid the pandemic. After losing his dad to COVID-19, for Peter, this fumigation exercise is one step ahead to combating the virus. Reporting for Switch TV, my name is Harriet Chimea.